Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to our solo self-found adventure here in Classic Hardcore on the Forsaken Priest. Thank you guys very much for being here today and choosing to spend some time with me. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. I turned in the breadcrumb to the guy in the mage quarter, so now we have the quest to go back out to the island and talk to the guy there. We're also going to head up further to the north after that and take on Captain Melrache and his bodyguards. And then make our way back to the south to work on a rear guard patrol. We need bleeding horrors and wandering spirits. That is the plan to get us into today. All right, we have to grab a candle here out of the box of candles, and then I think we have to go kill somebody for him. Uh, let's take a look at the quest. Yeah, let's come down here to this island. We'll summon Nefara, and we'll have to take her out. I don't remember exactly what level she is, but at level 14, we should be good to do this one. Yeah, she's level 12, so should be okay. If we had to come here like at level 8 or 9, then that could have been a big problem. And that one just goes back to the Undercity. Uh, for now, we're gonna head over this way. We have to take on Captain Melrache and his bodyguards. They are gonna be up in the Broken Tower that we investigated before when we were looking for a different captain.
Now, I'm pretty sure these guys were level 10, 11, and 12. Level 11. We could probably fight some of them just to see what their drop chances are on linen. We're still pretty desperate for linen. That'll work too. Training Sword of the Tiger, we can disenchant. Mm, no skill up, unfortunately. So, with the wood, we can make 12 wands plus 24. 36 63 I think we can get to 63 or 64 we're trying to get to 70 and maybe with a few mats left over 70 is what we have to be in order to learn the greater magic wand oh this is not a, a good omen here we have a dead player no telling when exactly they died uh, we got we got two bodyguards. So the bodyguards are only level eight. I'd, I'd say we burn the bodyguards down and uh, focus on the big guy. Let's go ahead and we'll eat some buff food. I probably should have waited on the power word shield. not been very pretty so far, but it might work anyway. Hey, I'll take it. I'm also noticing that we have some busted pants. That is not awesome. Alright, I think now if we head down like directly south into this little valley area, we should be able to find... Oh no, you know what? They're gonna be down here actually. We have to come much further south to find the bleeding horrors and wandering spirits. Uh, attacking this person might be a good idea. We've run them out of mana.
and we have a problem. What type of problem? Uh, just a level 11 problem, so not like a huge, huge problem. If that guy would die, that would be good. Let's get our shield back up. A mind blast and a smite later, and we're back in good shape. Alright, we pulled an ad with that one. Unfortunately, she can heal, so uh, luckily though, we killed him quickly enough. And the heal didn't go off. I will take it. Let's head down the hill here into the farmland area, down near Farmstead. This is where we're going to find the Bleeding Horrors and the Wandering Spirits. Uh, they also should have a chance to drop linen. Uh, the Wandering Spirits, yeah, they're, they're marked as undead. So even though they're spirits, and it doesn't really make sense for them to have loot, uh, they might anyway. Yeah, see, there we go. Linen cloth, that's that's what we need. We're getting very close to being able to make the, uh, the wand. And after we have the wand, we can actually focus on tailoring for the sake of tailoring. And for, you know, for the sake of making better gear. What is this here? Felicent's Shade. You are a rare, and I am going to kill you. Because you might drop a green that I can disenchant. You have Arcane Bolt. 
arcane bolt looks deadly. Oh my gosh. Four arcane missiles coming at us. That was a little bit intimidating. He got to spam that over and over again. Uh, I think we're fine though. But yeah, he, he was a little scary for a minute. No green. Oh, for shame. Still worth it to see the cool arcane blast animation. Or arcane bolt. Arcane bolt. Not arcane missiles, not arcane blast. Arcane bolt. Alright, he brought a buddy with him. I guess it makes sense that there'd be some social aggro here. Alright, that's 8 out of 8, and 8 out of 8, let's get ourselves back to town. 
And actually, we should take the road. I believe the rear guard patrol turns in at the road post. And not back in Brill. Right, and then we have one more to turn in that goes back to the mage quarter of the Undercity. And then beyond that, I guess the only other quest we have here is Family Crypt. And after that, we'd be heading into Silver Pine, which at level 14 is probably going to be a good idea. Crossroad Conscription is not green yet. This sends us to the Crossroads, and Dark Storm is also still yellow. So maybe we'll plan to finish up everything here in Tearsfall Glades and do the first little bit in Silver Pine before we go to the crossroads. Or even before we do Fizzle's Dar Fizzle Darkstorm. This is a kind of a challenging quest. And to be completely frank, I may, I may entirely skip it. Uh, we have to pull a guy who is surrounded by other guys. They're war warlocks, they have void walkers. Uh, there's a lot of patrols in that area that move around, and it's a, it's a good place to go to get killed in hardcore, so we may just avoid that quest entirely, depending on how our questing shapes up in Silver Pine.
forsaken. All right, that one is all done. Uh, let's do some tailoring. So we'll make as much as we can. We'll be able to make three more of the robes uh, with what we have. We'll disenchant those. And then before next time, I will go ahead and I will make and enchant everything I can uh, in an effort to see exactly how close to 70 we are. I, I don't think we're going to be at 70 yet. We'll have to see. We'll try to do some quick mathematics here once we have disenchanted uh, these robes. Create all three of them. Alright, so, this should be pretty easy math here, even I can't screw this up. Uh, we're at 30 enchanting. We can, uh, we can enchant 30 times here. But we can also make 12 of these. That gets us to 70. If, if we get skill ups off of everything. Uh, because what could also happen is, you know, this stuff could go yellow. And then once it's yellow, it's not guaranteed to give a skill up. It usually will. But it's not guaranteed. Uh, let's find the enchanting person uh, right over here. Oh, they're down in the apothecarium. All right. I, I am kind of tempted to just go ahead and see if we can do this. Um, it might get a little boring because I'm, I'm literally going to have to uh, enchant like over the same piece of gear like 30 times. Uh, so there's that. We'll make the wands. We can make 12 of the wands and we'll see how far that gets us. But yeah, we, we might be ready to do this now. And if we can do it now, I'd rather capture it uh, here with you guys. To me, it would make more sense to have the Enchanter be in the Magic Quarter. You know what I mean? Like, the Apothecarium doesn't really strike me as the place where the Enchanter would be. They should be right next to the Tailor. Uh, we can and we should also buy whatever materials they have. So we'll grab those. Um, we'll grab this. And then we need 12 of these. Actually, it should be 13 now. Alright, so yeah, let, let's... Oh, look, we, can, we can't even craft multiple of these at the same time. I have to click each one. And look how long it takes. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to do this. You guys feel free to go ahead and, you know, you could, you could skip this part of the video. You could fast forward through it. Uh, you could bail out right now, and I wouldn't hold it against you. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to sit here. And I'm going to get this skilled up, and I'm going to see if we can get the, get the greater magic wand today. Or at least get to a point where we've learned it, and we just need a couple of mats.
you know what I realized? I probably shouldn't have made all of the magic wands. Because I'm probably going to need like a lesser magic essence. If Even if I can unlock the, the greater wand. I might need a greater magic essence actually. I might need an item that we haven't gotten yet from anything. So we might have to disenchant something of a little bit of a higher item level in order to get what we need. Uh, we're going to find out really soon. This should be the last skill up we need to learn the greater magic wand. Yep, and it just went yellow, so that actually works out perfectly. What is it? We want greater magic wand. Uh, greater magic wand. We need a greater magic essence. Oh. We, we might be able to turn... Can we turn three lesser magic essence into a greater? This says turn a greater magic essence into three lesser ones. I bet it works the other way as well. So yeah, ideally, I, I should have saved a little bit of what we had. Because we had 12, and I, I didn't need all those points. We could have got them from here. Uh, that's okay. The great news is, like, we're ready to make it. We need a greater magic essence. Uh, so, you know, if we continue to get random greens, we'll continue to work on our tailoring as much as we can. And hopefully, we'll make the wand. We'll drop this for skinning. And then victory. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.